Andrew Gwynn is Shadow Communities and Local Government Secretary. He joins us live from our studios at Westminster. Good evening to you. Thanks evening. for being with us. Um, Laura Koonsberg made the point there that, um, yes, Theresa May is crying out for votes. She wants to get her deal over the line. No question about that. But there are communities that are in trouble. They've been in trouble for a long time and that you should not be turning your nose up at more than a billion pounds. Well, look, the reality is that many of the communities across England, the left-behind towns, uh, feel like that in part because we've suffered nine years of austerity, nine years of savage cuts to local council budgets, nine years of underinvestment in our public services. And so uh, welcome though uh, the crumbs on the table may be, uh, let's not forget that these very same communities in the very same English regions are crying out for proper sustainable funding for their local neighbourhood services going forward. Because until we address the crisis in funding our local neighbourhood services in our town and county halls across England, we are never ever going to be able to put right the social fabric in so many of these towns across our country. Sure, but the government does say that this will be paid, this, is, this, this money is not contingent on uh, an MP voting in a certain way uh, in the meaningful vote when it comes uh, in a few days time. This money is going to be there and it's a down payment, it's the beginning of something. Well, look, I'll take it at face value, but the reality is we know that there have been uh, conversations with MPs from across the House of Commons about how they can get support behind uh, the Prime Minister's withdrawal agreement. Look, the point is that this pot of money uh, is going to be spread so thinly, I doubt it will have anything like the transformational impact that the Communities Secretary today has uh, bigged up. The fact that there is a sense of... Uh, uh, the very least disappointment uh, and a lot of anger actually on both sides of the house uh, from this announcement is because the fact is that these towns across England have seen a massive cut to their local public services and even with this money this extra money over seven years, uh, it still means that our local councils will be 5.7 billion pounds out of pocket. So this isn't going to put right our towns and communities that are left behind. We need true vision, All true right. transformation and resources that match that. Okay, so what would you say to those MPs in those constituencies that may be eligible for this money, who decide that they're not going to vote for Theresa May's meaningful deal and have to go back to their constituents and say, look, we turned down money for a community centre. We turned down money for facilities. We turned down money to improve your livelihoods. What would you say to those people? Well, look, let, I said let's take at face value what Theresa May has said. I mean, we know and we're drawing conclusions that the only reason that this fund has been announced at this time is because a number of colleagues, principally Labour colleagues, have raised concerns about left-behind communities, principally the towns on the edge of cities, uh, that tended to vote leave. Uh, but look, this shouldn't be incumbent on how people vote in the meaningful vote. If our towns and communities, if our public services, if our local authorities require the funding to provide those decent services and to re-engage civic society and rebuild our communities from the grassroots up, then that funding ought to follow irrespective. And it shouldn't be the crumbs on the table. It should be proper funding so we can start to rebuild the fabric of our towns in this country, after nine years of austerity, nine years of cuts, and nine years of the decimation of our public services. Okay. Andrew Gwynn, Shadow Communities and Local Government Secretary. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.